Hello, I'd like to talk to you about my stick that I use for um, hiking and backpacking. So, um, why use a stick at all, right? Um, a stick serves a lot of purposes. Um, primarily, I, I use this for um, assisting myself as I walk, right? When you put your arm on it, it's going to take weight off your feet just by this alone. Um, the other thing is I also push on it for propulsion, so I'm engaging my upper body and my hands don't go numb when I'm holding on the stick. And um, obviously this is going to keep you from falling if you slip. It's, it's added stability. Okay, I also use this for um, tarp shelter uh, as part of my tarp shelter. And then, you know, you can use it to reach things, brush aside cobwebs. Um, the uses of a stick are almost innumerable. Um, so, what is this stick? All right. So, this is a broomstick that I got from my local hardware store. All right. I cut it down to length and I whittled it some. To, now, to taper it down so that um, I could put my furniture tip on it. Um, you don't have to do this. This is my preference. I'll explain why. Uh, this is a 5 8 inch tip. Um, you can get, you know, larger size tips if you want. You can get 3 quarters. You could get 1 inch. The only thing is they're pretty heavy. And I, I want this to be kind of an agile stick, not so much tip heavy. Okay, so the other effect of whittling it also is um, it puts the balance right near the center of the stick so that when I'm walking and placing the stick, it's not so much work to kind of move the stick. It's just, it's just you know, very light. All right, um, you do want it to be a little bit nose heavy because if the balance was center of balance was right at your hand, it's going to kind of wobble all over the place and then your placement won't be accurate and you might actually trip yourself if you're not careful. All right, so a um, little bit of a pendulum effect is desirable. So this stick weighs um, nine and a half ounces, which is pretty good for a walking stick. It's on par with commercially available walking sticks. When you go to the hardware store, if there's a bunch to pick from, you can pick heavier ones that are more durable. You can, um, I, there were some ones that were lighter than this. Um, I just picked this, I felt comfortable with it. So use your own judgment on that. It comes as uh, 60 inches or five feet long. Okay, there is a threaded tip. You'll probably want to discard that and then you cut it down to whatever length you want after that. So mine is um, 57 inches and it's about even with my shoulder. Okay, um, the tapering, if you're going to do this, just um, take light strokes with your knife because you want to figure out which way the grain is going. If you're going with the grain, you're going to get nice shavings. If you're going against the grain, you're going to gouge the wood, and this is fairly lightweight wood, so you're going to take out huge chunks, and you don't want to do that. So cut lightly, figure out which direction the grain is going, and you're either going to cut away from yourself or cut towards yourself so you need to have that proficiency to go with the grain okay um, I also cut a groove on the tip with a triangle file all right and so the reason why I have a groove here is so that if I tie a rope here it stays in place and it doesn't slip other than that I don't have a lot of modifications I don't have a handle on it or some kind of groovy grip on it because I, um, number one, slipping is not a problem, and two, um, I place my hand at different positions based on um, the, the ground and also my cadence. So if I'm going downhill, I usually hold it up at the top so I have more reach and I could keep the stick in front of me. Okay, so that way if I fall, I could stop myself with the stick. If the stick's behind you and you fall, well, Good luck. So um, if I'm going uphill, I'm going to choke up because the ground's going to come up and meet me. Okay. So I like the ability to be able to slide it, my hand anywhere. And then if you're going to use this as a weapon, also the ability to slide is important. Okay. Um, 
let's see, so the cadence, right? So normal cadence is going to be every four steps you're going to put down the stick. So you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. So that's what most people normally do. And that's fine if you're on level ground, okay? You're always assisting the same leg, whichever leg it is, uh, because you're, you're planting on an even number of steps. Um, for going up moderate hills, I actually like to do a three-step cadence. So you go one, two, three, one, two, three. That's a little bit awkward to get used to, but you'll get used to it. And the nice thing about that is you're going to be assisting alternating feet each time because you're doing an odd number of steps. When you do a um, cadence with fewer steps, you're, you're going to naturally want to move your hand down because you're going to have to do a shorter stroke with the staff, okay? And then you can even do a two-step um, cadence. So you go one, two, one, two, one, two, right? So that's maybe for even a steeper hill, okay? And then for the steepest hills, I actually put two hands on there and I row myself up the hill like a boat. One, two, one, two, one, two. And actually, this um, will definitely, you'll feel the boost from the stick. Um, you're, you're doing more work with your upper body, but you will have more power to go uphill. Um, just one last thing to say, these tips wear pretty well. I usually change them out like once a year, depending on how much I hike. Okay. All right, so why use a broomstick? instead of something like this, which is more common. A um, couple reasons. One, the wood feels nice. I like the warm feel of the wood. Two, I believe a solid stick is gonna be stronger than something like this, which has joints. And then three is price. This is a cheap stick. It's about $20. Um, however, it's heavier than my wooden staff. If you want to get something of comparable weight, you're going to have to pay a premium price for it. So those are reasons why I like my broomstick.